Welcome back to Upper Lusatia for my Back to Basics series, episode 13, with me, Mr. Sealy P. So there we go, a few jobs for the locals. Uh, this is also a job for um, the locals. 
a local, a farmer. Um, I thought I'd do some potatoes, why not? Um, this is using the Grimmy Compactor, I can't remember which number it was now. The one that's like a transformer. I love it, the way it unfolds. Brilliant bit of kit. Um, and I thought what I might do, uh, we've done a few jobs in this field, if I can build up enough money doing jobs for other people, which I do every now and again, I've been doing it between you know, episodes, I've been doing it between doing silage, bale, uh, silage bales, um, the silaging over the BGA, um, that kind of thing. Um, it just, I think maybe buying a field and doing a potato harvest, I haven't done one. Quite a while. Farm dogs not. <laughs> Farm dogs not as convinced by the whole idea as I am, apparently. Um, I apologise for that. You got a little bit overexcited. I don't know why. And now I've gone off course. Um, not to worry. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd sort of buy a field. This is quite a big one, though, actually, to be fair, doing a potato harvesting this. But you know what? Why not? I thought I'd have a go. I do love the way this machine works. Details on it are just brilliant. Very, very cool. Um, so while I'm doing this, I thought I, what I would do is chuck this out there as one of those kind of. Uh, not a gripe or a complaint as such, more of a conversation point. What are your thoughts? What do you think about this? Now, I've been playing computer games for many, 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 many years um, on various different games. Um, and I've done a lot of multiplayer on various different games. I don't do it so much on Farming Simulator, but I've played Call of Duty and all sorts of games online. <coughs> and I've heard the, the, the word noob thrown away around for a long long time now people calling other people noobs and whatever and I get it, it comes from newbie you're new at something but what I've found recently playing various different games and hearing other people saying it and my kids and whatever it's become a more of a derogatory term now quite a negative connotation people being quite nasty when they say it um, what are your thoughts? Have you come across it? What do you think? Is it being used as, um, as more of a slur now, a negative comment for someone being nasty or is it still meant I always it's kind of light hearted oh you're such a noob kind of thing now it seems to be quite venomous when people say it they're quite nasty and it has a negative connotation now being called a noob is not a good thing anymore um, I don't know what do you think what are your comments what are your thoughts put them in the comments box have you been called a noob what do you think is it okay is it not okay um, no it's a computer game and I get it there's lots of young testosterone filled people out there and lots of ladies too um, who just feel the need to be aggressive and shout and yell at people when they're playing multiplayer and that kind of thing I get it but I uh, don't just thought I'd chuck it out there we are nearly done on this hopefully sorry about that just thought I'd throw it out there what do you reckon uh, something to talk about isn't it and there we go not too bad So with the potatoes done, for someone else of course, not for me, that was filled 14. I'm going to take the seeder over to field 11, because we still haven't put any seed in that yet. Um, I'm going to put this on to canola. So I'm going to get canola filled on 11. I'm then going to go and we're probably going to get a new seeder, the one that does the other crops. Um, we're probably going to go for the Optima Prime Transformers. No. The Optima 5, I think it is, yes. Um, so when I'm here, Optima, it just sits in the head. Anyway, um, we might have to refill this at some point, I don't know. We'll see. So, let's get going. Fantastic. What we have also got is an incredibly good price on... Uh, Soybean at the moment. It's not in the blue, but it's at 2000 and something. Uh, I think it's 2065. Let's have a quick look. It was quite good. 2060 and climbing over at Agroma. Uh, we've got about 10,000 litres in storage, so might as well use it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is grab 
both oh no I need one of the uh, farm techs because they're 15,000 litres don't I grab one of the farm tech trailers we'll go over to our Groma and then what we'll do is we'll get a cedar I am going to replace the slurry tank slurry tanker no not the slurry tanker the slurry spreader we're going to go up one we're going to get the uh, Joskin what was it called not tornado something like that wasn't it no that's the manure spreader uh, we're going to go with the Joskin modulo 2 so we're going to sell that at some point we're going to buy that I think we've got the horsepower to pull it 150 I know that's only 85 but I just think you know still on fairly small equipment not going mad and massive but we could just carry on with the garret it really doesn't matter but I just thought we might do change things up a little bit uh, what are we going to do this with the mass is over at the sheep pen at the moment that's been used for clearing out the feed area so let's grab this yeah I'm thinking we might put another tractor <laughs> I'm going to do some forestry but I'm going to do it a little bit differently uh, using some different equipment uh, where are we oh I've left the trailers over at the BJ haven't I I'm thinking where are they they'll be tucked away somewhere I left them at the BJ let's go and get them um, sorry about the whole the whole noob comment I just thought you know I'm just curious I, you know I have heard it quite a lot recently and I had a comment left weirdly enough uh, calling me a noob said they thought it was weird how noobs play the game and they wouldn't be watching any more of my, my videos uh, I wouldn't consider myself a noob but there you go I just found it quite a negative thing as well so I just thought as soon as I'd heard it a few times in uh, recent days I thought let's chuck out the noob debate and see what people think but anywho uh, that was the whole point the point I tried to make I did leave a comment and then I thought no you know what I'll just delete it I, you know, I don't want to get into a prolonged argument or you know but uh, the whole point of this series is it's back to basics I absolutely am aware there are faster ways there are probably better ways of doing a lot of this stuff because it's back to basics and because I'm trying to do different things use bits that I haven't used before you know yeah it's not effective to have two of these trailers it's more effective to have a bigger trailer just have one and have bigger tractors that can pull them i absolutely get that it's probably far more efficient to have a much bigger cedar and a much you know i totally get that too uh i knew from the outset this was not going to be everyone's cup of tea this series and that was the whole point of it really because you know what much as people do the whole you're such a noob or you know in it whichever way you say it everyone was a noob once <laughs> regardless if a new game comes out it doesn't matter how long you've been playing the old version you're new to that version of it and people can you know march around telling everyone how awesome they are at everything but everyone's new at some point and I've had a lot of people new to this game messaging me asking me for my advice and what do I think and they're new to playing farming simulator full stop they may just be new to farming simulator 17 and you know people may still argue well that's ridiculous because it's been out ages doesn't mean a thing it might be someone's just found the, the whole franchise and just they're giving it a go so uh, it may well be this is how they're playing the game they don't really know how to start a game they don't know what equipment to use how to make money to get going that was kind of the point of going back to you know this is how you can do it you don't have to that's the point do it whatever way you want I know I do this every now and again but I've loads of people commenting saying don't worry about it play the game the way you want to I, I totally oh, oh, I'm so busy ranting on Mr. Silly P rant I forgot to pick up the seed oh no Whoa. Uh, yeah that was clever right I'll see you in a minute on my way back this time with the seed rather than just an empty trailer that would be a better idea wouldn't it that's better we've actually got some this time now I have been reliably formed in the very latest of the updates 
for this map. That the ag uh, the agri no, what was it? We'll get there in a second. This building has been revamped. It's a new building, and it is completely different. Wow, I didn't even notice in the episode the other day. It's a completely different building with a completely different cell point. The one that was here before was kind of transparent. Every time you came near it, you could see through the building. It was a bit peculiar. So this has been completely changed. But then I was also then reliably informed that the Xbox version hasn't changed. That it's still got the old one. I don't know. Um, would seem a bit odd not to change it, but I, I don't know. So yeah, completely different building. Right, so let's see what we get. So there, 21,188, sorry. I was just turning around so I could get onto a darker background so I can see the amount. Fantastic, right. So we're up to 196,000. Get back over to the store. My mind's gone blank. What? I just, I just looked at it. That's why I'm baffled. Agroma. Why is that Agrosem? Agrosem is the make of the, the manufacturer of the uh, oh, one of the plows and stuff. I can't remember. Oh dear me. Okay, right. So, new cedar. Don't know if this will hook it up on the back because this has got a trailer hitch. But it might be one with a PTO, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we are going for sewing machines. The Kvernland Optima. Optima. However you want to say it. Five. Select that. And buy. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a three point link one. Okie dokie. Right, what I will do then. I think. I'm going to leave the trailer here for the moment. That way we can get straight on the ceiling. Because the field's directly behind us. I can also fill it up from a Gromer just next to us as well. It's a nice seed of this. So let's fill this up. There's our seed. Is that fertilizer point here? I thought there was. Where's that like to be? The apologizer keeps sniffing, it's driving me mad. I have allergies and for some reason they're really playing up lately. I get up to do my videos and as soon as I start talking I get really bummed up I'm not sure why. Is that it next to it? No, that can't be it, surely. What is it? Can't they get down the side of here, are they? Not really. Let's have a look. Is it here? That's peculiar. So I've got to go back over to the farm anyway. Why would you have seed but not fertiliser? Am I just missing the... What we further over this side? Oh, okay, don't know what's happened there. How weird. Okay, well... Let's move back to the farm. That's irritating. Maybe I'm missing something, but... Can't see what it might be. Tank is empty on the other cedar. Over on field 11. do with one of those Porsche seed refill tank things. Might be a bad idea.
Yeah, so it's those pallets, isn't it? That's the sea. What's going on? Okay, right. Oh, seven, here we come. That's got a long way about it, but never mind. To be quite past the fishman, apparently. So how far has it got? A little bit over halfway. Okay. So I'm putting some flowers in this one. Also to what was this? This was corn, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want to do corn back in this one again. So let's open the cedar out. Planter, cedar. Yes, I did say that the other day. Cedar planter, because I, I often say sewing machines, and someone said from the US. I don't ever say that, it's more of a European term. They say planters or cedars. So I mentioned planters and then someone said planters are when you actually plant something like a, oh I don't know, like a poplar or, but seeding is when you put the seed in the ground. I never knew there was a difference, but there you go. So there we go. Sunflower going in. Right, let's go and get this other one. Actually, have a look. I have got the horse aggravation pack thing installed, so what would that be under? Was it under miscellaneous? Oh, I don't know if I've got it enabled though. I've got it installed but not necessarily enabled. That could be why it wouldn't show. Uh, oh, that's fine. I'll just go back, it's a lot easier. Yep, seed again. Fertilizer's barely been touched. So I could have one of the tractors with some forks and get some of the big bags, couldn't I? Because each big bag would fill one of these up. Because I've only got small cedars. It would, it would fill one straight away, wouldn't it? So I wouldn't have to worry about keep coming back and forth. I could come out with a bag. Maybe that's the way to go. This doesn't take very much at all, does it? Yeah, I could refill that from a big bag a few times over, couldn't I? Right, maybe that's the thing to do next. Go and get some bags from the uh, from the store, have them at the yard, and I can bring them out with a vehicle with a pallet fork or a bale spike, doesn't matter which. Right, so I could bring it out with the tractor with the front loader on it. Not that it's far to drive, it just eliminates that backwards and forwards, doesn't it? drive over the seat edge of it. It could also be that a big overlap with the star, that's what I did say before didn't I? It's, it's, it's a great cedar and it looks amazing when it's operating but look at that, about a third of that cedar is overlapping.
which means if that's putting seed into the ground overlapping each third that's wasting a fair amount of seed isn't it right off he goes again go and check on the other one I'm not sure I've got the big bags enabled on this one either. I should check that. Have a look. What have I got enabled under pallets? Oh, I have got them. Seed and fertilizer. So the seed bag, that's a 2,000 litre bag for 1,200. Right, let's get a couple of those. Right, what I do is go and grab the mass seed, maybe. Or something with pallet forks, we'll go and grab one of those bags and we can bring it out to the field. Fantastic, let's do that. So I'm down at the store, the two big bags I bought are here, 2,000 litres in each, 1,200 pounds, euros or dollars, depends, this is still set on dollars from Lone Oak Farm. So I bought the Massey over with the Massey forks, but I have bought a pallet fork because we didn't have any. I think we might have done originally, but I might have got rid of them. So I've hooked up one bag, because all, all I'm going to need at the moment. I can always come back for the other one and take it to the farm. We can put it in a corner somewhere, and then when we need it, we can come out and get it. Um, the cedar has finished here. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so I don't hit the ground. Um, the cedar has finished on field 7, but isn't empty, because it was doing sunflowers, it didn't use as much seed. The cedar doing field 11 is almost empty again. It's finished the field but it's almost empty so what I'm going to do is refill this one this one's going to go over to field 12 and I might put corn in that one so I was going to do another corn field uh, so what I'm going to do is lift that right up hopefully I'll be able to get over it there we go that's not it is it yeah, I need a little bit. Drop that down a bit. Let's just double check. That's probably full now. There you go. Sorted. So I can close the cover on that. And that will go over to field 12 in a minute. This one will go and we'll put it. The uh, seed is finished just over here. Just across here. So we'll do this one as well. Obviously on your massive cedars that are taking sort of three, four, five thousand litres. You need quite a few of these, but actually this is quite a high cedar, isn't it? Let's see. We should be able to get over it. Just lift that right up. There we go. It's not done as well. <laughs> That's brilliant. Just to keep that tip so we can go fine off there. Let's check. We are full. No, we're not. Most we are. It's fertilised, it's not full. But that doesn't matter because it doesn't need to be. Close that up. Now, that's good news. Right, with that and that, can go back to the farm. Let's just turn that off. And uh, let's go over there to this one. I haven't actually checked what are we up to with regard to 
contracts done. Also, fertilising states. Let's have a look. 11's fully fertilised. 17's fully fertilised. They're both okay. 7 will need another fertilising state, so maybe we'll weed that when that first comes through the ground. 9 could probably do with... Yeah, see, half it's partly grown, half it's not. It's very weird. Maybe weeding to get them to the next growth stage. And that'll be the same with 12 when we do that one. 24 stuff I've done anything with. That's over there. Uh, but yeah, we'll get onto that. So what we'll probably do... Like I say, I'm going to do some forestry. Just in, you know, in the vein of doing various different jobs. Um, we're doing all right. Financially, you know, I can do contracts for other people. Uh, not like in-game contracts, not subscriber contracts. And... Uh, make a bit of money I've still got bales I can sell I've got silage that's fermenting over at the BGA just over 200,000 litres of it which, which we will sell at some point let's close up for transport um, I just thought I'd chuck a bit of forestry in do some logging I don't do logging as often as I use you know I do wood chipping <coughs> excuse me more than logging but um, like I say I'm going to use something a bit different I'll use it's just a chance for me to go through before FS19 comes out and use a few different mods and a few bits of equipment that I haven't used at all uh, or I haven't used very much so I just thought it might be a nice way to kind of round it all off really I have been, I was sent a message the other day offering me a plane ticket not in real life, in the game offering a plane ticket to California to their farm or, uh, near Ravenport would I take on a job on their farm in about a month's time I might well do that uh, right, I need to change the crop in here. Don't want soybean. Corn, there we go. Let's put corn in here. I think when this is ready, we won't silage this. This will be, we'll harvest it for its corn, I think. This will be the best bet. Right, well... So, we are getting the seeding done, finally. I was, I was turning all the fields and getting them all ready and suddenly realised I did field 9, but 11's been sat there since, what, the first couple of episodes and I hadn't put anything in it. So now we've got two seeders, so we can do all the different seed types, which is brilliant. Glad we did that. <coughs> Let's get these other two tractors back over to the farm. So with those seeded, I don't own any other fields other than field 24, which is through the woodland over there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we might. I did say I was going to plough that, but I don't know if I need to. I might leave that for grass. So what I'm going to do is try it. Now, I know the, the uh, grassland harrows, I've got two of them now. Um, I don't. I know they're supposed to be for grass. I don't know if they can be used as a weeder. No, that's the whole point. They're weeding on the grass areas, but can they be used on other fields? Because I just generally go straight for get a weeder, or you know, or don't even bother weeding. I'll just fertilise a spray or do whatever to get the next um, the next state. And I think that's going to be another thing with FS19. It's going to be fantastic. Is that weeding will need to be done or spraying to get off the weeds or whichever way around you're going to do it I just think that's it, it won't be a case if you just need three fertiliser states you need to do certain things now which I think you know that's going to add so much to it really is right let's back that in here right now. and if that fields in its first growth stage I won't damage the crops by going over it, so I don't need to put narrows on this. If I go and grab one of the grass and harrows, all I can do is try. It should, there's no reason why it wouldn't work as a weeder, isn't it?
as I say, I don't, I don't remember doing this in two stages, but maybe I did. The, the ground should turn darker. Whoa, I won't mind that. Right, let's open this out. Yes, it will work. So, we'll weed this half anyway. That'll take it to three fertiliser stakes. And then once the other half starts to grow and goes into that next growth stage, we'll uh, we'll do that one. I'm glad this worked. Technically, I know it's for grass. It's not supposed to be for crops, but it's working. We'll go with it. Um, and with that, I think thinking new cedar did some contracts for other people to make some money got two fields three fields seeded this one being weeded i think that's everything i was intending to do um i hope you've enjoyed this episode i hope you're sticking with the whole you know me just doing stuff because i want to because i'm enjoying it and back to basics small equipment that kind of thing um if you have enjoyed it give us a like Hit that thumbs up if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>